So we left off with Guts and Casca in their own little mini tree fort, which is kind of dope. I wish I had one myself. I assume in this episode or the next, they're going to reconnect with Griffith and the Band of the Hawks. But I feel like this situation was the start of their relationship getting a little bit closer. She might have yelled at him, swung at him a few times. But at the end of the day, he did protect her. He did keep her alive. And I think that that's going to get her to start to get a little bit closer to him as time goes on. We'll see if I'm right. But let's dive in. Let's see what happens in this episode. Prepared for death. I don't like that title. That tells me nothing good is coming. Casca ain't looking too good. <laughs> Cancel him. This misogynistic fool. He should be like, yo, like, I can see this being something that would be all over Twitter. If this came out today, all over Twitter, like, yo, this is crazy. This is the kind of stuff that they're pushing now in shows. <laughs> so she does have her period. I wonder if he pushes her. To end up having way more issues because he's assuming that this is because she has a woman problem which is going to be the period but I'm, I'm thinking that there's more stuff going on with her and he's just assuming that that must be the cause of it all because she has it Ooh. normally you'd think this is a bad situation but i feel like they stand no chance against guts <laughs> Oh shit. Okay, there's more than I thought. Shots fired. Everything's been passed down through his family for hundreds of years. They've created everything. At some point, he's going to be like, yo, listen, you're on our earth, which was handed down through our family for the past one million years, okay? So it's just, it just gets corny after so long. If you really feel the way that you feel, what is this whole, I'm going to capture you and show you hell on earth? How about you just one-on-one -on -one me, bitch? Sheesh. I got faith in guts, but this is not looking good. She's so badass. <laughs> Yo, they're stupid because they keep running at them in like groups of three or like one at a time. And it's like, it's not working. Maybe you guys should all just go in at the same time. Obviously everybody can't because otherwise they're gonna start hitting each other. But I, like go with more than a group of three maybe. <laughs> Yo, getting cut in your armpit would probably suck. Damn, little bro big. That's such a stupid way to introduce him. He's like, listen, even under an avalanche, he would be indestructible. It's like, well, that's great, but he'd also be buried, no oxygen, and he'd freeze to death. So it's, it wouldn't really matter. That's got this. Yo, that's gotta suck. You just sitting there chilling, watching everything happen, and you just get bopped in the face. So he's doing this on purpose for some reason. That's true. I guess it would hit her if he moved out of the way. Did he just go right through his whole entire helmet? Oh, he, he killed him, killed him. Oh, shit. I thought he was just going to hurt the dude or, like, knock him aside. I didn't know he was going to straight up just slice right through his armor. That's wild. 
Yeah, see, after this situation where he's going to try to create a path for her to escape, there's no way that she doesn't change her mind about him. Like, at this point, he's won her over, without a doubt. <laughs> Yo, I like how he hides it with that. Listen, don't get it mistaken, okay? A sickly person is of no use here, so that's why I want you to get out of here. It's not because I'm trying to protect you or save you. It's because you can't help me, okay? Because you're sick, so you don't belong here. Yeah, okay, buddy. Okay. <laughs> We'll see what happens. She might leave, but I, I feel like she's not gonna. I don't blame her if she does. I mean, he's telling her to leave, but I think her pride and want to, to stick it out with him is not gonna let her. Did they all freeze because they're scared? I love guts. They said, don't, don't speak nonsense. I, I mean, listen, you got to think about it this way, right? You saying, oh, he's just an injured man. That makes it worse. The fact that he's got an arrow in his forearm and an arrow you said you hit him with previously, and he's able to kill the second best in command like that pretty much and just walk through everybody else. That's not going to make them be like, oh, yeah, sure. Let's just let's dive in, too. Hell no. Everybody want to live. This man's desperate. Dude, this guy talks a big game. Like he's this this amazing fighter and a, intelligent and... But when it comes down to it, he doesn't want to fight, right? You're, you're willing to give five times the reward to try to encourage these people that literally just turn their back on you because they said, yeah, we don't really want to do it anymore. Instead of you just going and doing it, right? Like if you're this badass warrior, the badass leader, and I, I'm pretty sure he said Samson was number two in the battalion and he probably meant behind him because he seems very conceited. So it's like, if you're number one, have at it, my guy. <laughs> Those cramps hitting different. Woo, she's got to be careful. Two for two. If she wasn't sick or dealing with whatever it is, I'd be confident that she's fine. <laughs> this man is different. Now it's getting interesting. Guts has lost his damn mind. Oh no. There's no way this actually happens, right? Maybe Griffith finds her? Oh shit. Oh, I thought he was with Casca for a second, but I don't think he's there yet. I was like, yes, somebody has saved her. Please don't let this happen. But I'm 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 assuming that it doesn't go down, but again, as always, is anime. I mean, Guts killed the little kid, so like <laughs> which is wild. It's crazy because like I'm rooting for him. He's the main character. You, you're going to root for him because he seems like he's on the good side. And in reality, you can argue that, okay, you know, that's a whole shitty situation, family, but the kid was innocent, right? The kids over here, look like he getting abused by his father, forced to do shit he don't want to do. And he just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's why like it's, it's when you, it's just crazy to think that that kid, yo, so, you know, I said a whole lot of nothing right there, but anyways, is getting interesting.
I'm still not sure how I feel about if they reconnect with the band of the Hawks or if this starts them down the path of being completely separate and then some shit goes down and they come together in some way. Right. Because, and I've said this a million times already, but it's like, it's like, I know what is going to end up happening, but I don't know how we get there. So it doesn't spoil anything. It actually just makes me more excited. I just assume that all those dead bodies in the pool of blood and everything that we see in the beginning of the 2018 berserk is the band of the Hawks minus Griffith who maybe abandons them because it's like Zod said, when he loses his ambition, you will be like sentenced to death, so to speak, or something like that. And then we know that Casca and guts end up with this symbol on them. And I don't know if Griffith has it because we haven't seen enough in what the you know few episodes we've watched of the 2018 one to, to know if that's the case, but we know that they have it. So there's a chance that they roll up on a situation that's happening and they get caught up in something and a bunch of people are already dead and Griffith is gone or they reconnect with them and they enter that situation together. But we're getting closer towards the end. I mean, this is episode 13. We still have, what, 12 episodes left to get to 25. But I don't know, you know, like I in my mind, initially, I thought that it would end with that scene that we start with in the 2018 Berserk. But when I think about it more, it's like then it kind of jumps from there. And Casca and Gus are not together. He ends up going back to the people that are watching her. And they say that she had taken off. And then he goes off in pursuit of her. So knowing that, this whole situation or whatever crazy shit goes down might happen sooner. And then we see the aftermath of it. And then he gets to that place. We meet those people. He leaves Casca. And that's how the season ends. So I, I don't know exactly. There's only one way to find out. Appreciate you guys. Shout out to my patrons. Shout out to everybody on YouTube. If you, if I, I think this, hopefully this will probably make YouTube. Yeah, I think, I think so. We're just gonna have to edit quite a bit of shit out, but take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one, homies. Hey, they said that I couldn't do what I'm doing. Like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? They tried to tell me that I wasn't made for this shit. I'm like, what were you thinking? I don't know what he was thinking. Acting like I still got something to prove. Like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? I've been improving. Well, you ain't been moving, my nigga. Like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking?